If you find yourself four-wheeling alone with no alternatives and you happen to have a Smitty-built 9,500-pound winch that you purchased in 2017, you might find that your winch itself has power if you have a test light or a multimeter, but your winch remote does not work. This is apparently pretty common. The switch inside the remote very commonly goes bad, and there is a way to get out of this if it's your only way to get out of wherever you're stuck in. This is an emergency only situation, so definitely don't do this if you don't have to, but when your remote is broken and you're pissed and you need to get out of a mud hole or whatever, you can take your remote apart. It is glued together. Pry it apart, pull the switch out, and then you'll see three wires behind it. You're gonna take the long side, about six feet of wire. It's these three wires that plug into your controller. Plug that in. Make the three wires bare on the ends. Twist together the yellow and green wire along with the blue wire. And then touch those two wires to your positive terminal. Proceed with caution. You can hurt yourself and you will see sparks, but you will also see the magic happen. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Again, this is for emergency purposes only. If your winch controller dies and you have no alternative to get out and you're by yourself, um, I did this, you can see it's kind of slow process, but it worked. So, hopefully that helps. Apparently Smitty Built might give you a new remote if you call them. I don't necessarily want a new one that'll break, so I'm just going to wire it up better. But, hope that helps.